Hey, buddy. What's up, guys? Young Rule Lifestyle here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some stuff I got in the mail. I've already been through it, of course, but this is the Tack Pack Grab Bag. It's like 25 bucks plus like five bucks shipping, so you get some leftover stuff they have from their Tack Packs. We got a hex bag in this one. Looks like a nice little pocket knife, you know, one that you can beat around with. So right there, you know, we're probably 35-ish bucks, so we made our money back. At least we got our money's worth. We got this little tool that's got like a screwdriver, cell phone stand, letter opener, bottle opener. That's cool. It says tack pack on it. We've got some paracord wrapped up in a combat monkey fist, camo monkey fist to be exact. We've got some swag packages, Gumbangers Anonymous, the old tack pack. We got, ooh. AR-15 dust cover. Hey, looks like I need to start another build. But, uh, other than that, we got some, you know, you see these splatter targets in here. They work good. Anyway, but this is what we're really here for. This is a Spikes T3. That will be STT3. Buffers. Heavy buffer. This is the really heavy one. So this is like 5.3 ounces. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's like 5.3 ounces, and uh, I have the Spikes STT2 in this rifle here. It's a carbine length gas system with the BCM Gunfinder comp. This one's really smooth. Anyway, but we're going to be worried about this AR firearm build. Uh, it was just going to be a pistol, but the overall length, as measured per ATF specs, is over 26 inches, so the vertical grip here is legal, which is great because I love running VGs on my rifles. They're just great. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this heavy buffer into this firearm here and uh, see if it helps smooth it out a little bit. Um, that way, you know, it doesn't beat itself to death. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the range now and we will see you guys out there. All right, guys, out here on the range now. Gonna go ahead and test out these this Spikes STT, STT3 buffer system in this AR firearm build. To go over the build real quick, uh, Brownells, I got the upper receiver, upper parts kit, charging handle that's just a standard charging handle, and the A2 muzzle device. Uh, I also, from Brownells, got the Midwest Industries third generation handguard. Uh, M-Lock, 10 and a half inches, really like it. BC, since we are considered an AR firearm and not a pistol, we got the BCM angled vertical grip on here. Really like it, can pull into myself. For the flashlight, we got the Streamlight HLX on an Arasaka 45 degree offset mount with the touch pad on top of the Picatinny rail. For the red dot, we have the Holosun 515C. It's got the circle dot reticle. It also comes with the scope caps, a kill flash, this one works off the sun with the solar panel here. We have the QD mount, all from all from uh, hollow sun like that. Really nice setup. The lower, the complete lower is a Palmetto complete. Bought it that way. Uh, the barrel in here is an 11 and a half inch Roscoe Manufacturing 5.56 NATO barrel. Uh, really solid setup. Uh, also, I got the hollow sun from Optics Planet. And the buffer from Optics Planet. Really like Optics Planet. They uh, they they do good work. So uh, let's go ahead. I got the the regular buffer from Palmetto, the one that came from Palmetto, in the gun right now. And I'm just gonna put two or three rounds down range and just kind of remind myself the recoil impulse that it has here. So all right, you know that's a pretty rough recoil impulse. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Gonna say, here you go, our standard buffer. Gonna go ahead and drop that out on the ground. No big deal. Spikes STT3 buffer. Like I said earlier, I thought I said it weighed 5.4 ounces. I was wrong. Weighs 5.03 ounces, but still a lot heavier. Can definitely tell a difference when holding them in your hand. So let's go ahead. I got about 12 or 10 rounds left in this magazine. Let's go ahead and finish it out and see what I think about it, we'll go ahead and talk about it here. Um, I can already tell you already after three rounds, it's a lot smoother. 
uh, the the gun stays more in in line and indirect. Yeah, it's really good. Like, okay. So if you're not a shooter, you're probably not gonna be able to tell a difference. I'm gonna say that right off the bat, but. If you are a shooter and you spend quite a bit of time on the range, you're definitely going to be able to tell a difference. It stays on target a lot better. I was able to move to that target and make a headshot. We're only at five yards, so no big deal. But I was able to move in between targets really well. The recoil impulse is a lot smoother, so I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, just like I would say about my STTT, STT2 buffer in my 16-inch carbine with the carbine length gas system, the S STT3 buffer from Spikes in this, is a heck of a good deal. Um, got it from Optics Planet for like 40 bucks. Uh, I definitely go ahead and it's a good upgrade if you're trying to, you know, you've got to the point where you're trying to see little performance increases. Definitely an upgrade that I, I think is worth the money. So uh, I'm Jesse. This is Young Roll Lifestyle. Thanks for stopping in, guys. And just want to remind you if you like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to see more videos. If you didn't like it, you can go ahead and say that down below in the comments and remind you to go do big things. We'll see you guys later.